Hello, Christine Niles here. Before we get into headlines, please remember you can watch this and all the videos we produce over at churchmilitant.com. There's Vortex, Headlines, Download, and all sorts of free and premium shows, not to mention daily news and commentary on current events relevant to the Catholic world. Please click the link after the video, and we'll see you at churchmilitant.com. Hello, I'm Christine Niles. Today's Friday, April 27, 2018. Here are your latest church militant headlines. Sick UK toddler Alfie Evans is alive after more than 80 hours, despite being held captive by the hospital. Alfie's father told supporters Thursday to back down from protests as the family and hospital work on a treatment plan for Alfie with hopes to bring him home. People in London, Ireland, Poland, Washington, D.C., and the Vatican staged marches and prayer vigils after the Court of Appeal Wednesday rejected the parents' last-ditch effort to take their son to Italy for treatment. Alfie's father also said the family will not be issuing future statements or giving interviews. A third victim will confront an accused Saginaw priest in court hearings today. Preliminary examinations continue today in Saginaw, Michigan, against 71-year-old father Robert DeLand accused of sexually assaulting three young men. Two victims testified in Wednesday's hearings. The third will take the stand today. An 18-year-old male, he claims he was sexually assaulted inside St. Agnes Church last May, where Father DeLand was pastor. Although the man's father reported the incident immediately to the diocese, the diocese did nothing, failing to notify police. Polish Catholics are rallying to defend Alfie Evans. Pro-lifers gathered outside the British Embassy in Warsaw Wednesday to pray the rosary for the UK toddler. The prayer rally comes as thousands of Poles are petitioning President Andrzej Duda to grant Alfie citizenship and bring him to Poland for treatment. Duda took to Twitter Wednesday declaring, quote, Alfie Evans must be saved. His brave little body has proved again that the miracle of life can be stronger than death. Alfie, we pray for you and your recovery. Alfie's father thanked the Polish president for taking a stand for his son. British Catholics are turning to the rosary to heal their nation. Sunday, Catholics in the UK will gather at more than 300 sites along the coast of Britain to pray the rosary. Bishop John Keenan of Paisley, Scotland, spoke about the event. This is a crusade, a rosary crusade for faith, for a new of faith in our country, for the protection of life in our country, and to bring peace to our country and to the world through the intercession of Our Lady in the praying of the Rosary. Tens of thousands are expected to participate in Sunday's event, and nine UK bishops have announced they will attend. A Hungarian priest will be beatified as a martyr. An April 13th statement from the diocese west of Budapest announced that Father Janos Brenner will be beatified May 1st. Brenner was a diocesan priest found beaten and stabbed to death in 1957 at age 25 while on foot to minister to a dying relative. His death was, result, was the result of a wave of repression and persecution of Catholic clergy under the communist regime, and parishioners blamed police and communist officials for his murder. Brenner was named a servant of God in 2001. I'm Christine Niles. Those are your church militant headlines. Please watch The Vortex today, where Michael talks about the gay mind. And check out the download, where the panel discusses the Holy Eucharist. God bless you. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And even better, head over to churchmilitant.com to watch headlines, vortex, download, and hundreds of hours of video, as well as read articles on our site and check out reporting you won't find at any other Catholic outfit. And don't forget, we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So please be sure to follow us there as well. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you over at churchmilitant.com. God bless.